next material is going to be some marabou. What we're going to save some marabou from a previous fly, and I'll show you how we're going to use this. So this is a the butt end of some marabou. It's got a really thick stem that you can't wrap, but the bottom of this marabou is really, really good. So we're going to show you how to tie this into a dubbing loop and salvage some of your marabou. So we'll make our dubbing loop. And we'll add our dubbing spinner here, keeping our loop open. And then you can peel off the bottom of the marabou. You kind of get your nice, nicest bunch of marabou all, all in one zone. And what I'm gonna do is place this side of marabou into the loop. Try not to move that marabou too much. We'll give it a nice trim here. And then we've got our marabou in there nicely. A little bit too much overhang, so we're gonna shorten that up just a little bit. And these extra butts won't matter too much. We'll be able to hide them. We'll pinch and spin and spin that right up nicely and once it's fairly tight none of this should fall out so I'm gonna grab my dubbing brush here and just kind of gently pick those marabou fibers out and you see it's quite a nice chunk of marabou kind of get our fingers wet and Pull this back and wrap it forward. We'll kind of keep fairly tight wraps, but we'll be pulling this back as we wrap forward. And I really love this uh, marabou. It's from uh, Creative Angler. It's almost like a spay type marabou, so it's real thin barbs. Just makes for great action on your fly. Not a whole lot of density to the middle of the fiber that you'll see in a lot of woolly bugger marabou. So this stuff moves really nice. So we'll get that tied in. We'll tie it off just behind the eyes. And 